We give honor to God who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross of Calvary for all of our sins. We thank God for the record book. It says he hung, he bled, he died. But on the third day, he got up from the grave. want to use as a subject title this morning, War Room 2. We can tell two neighbors, War Room 2. And if there's a War Room 2, you'll know there's a War Room 1. And there will be a War Room 3. By now, you have all heard of the movie War Room. That deals with spiritual warfare and prayer. We plan to see it Tuesday night. For those of you who weren't here when we announced it, but Tuesday night, 7 p.m., we're going to go together and have a good time in the Lord. Today, we want to look at the shield. The question I want to ask you this morning is, can you protect yourself? Come on. I didn't ask about your neighbor, but I asked about you. Can you protect yourself? Christian use spiritual armor to protect themselves against spiritual enemies. Invisible enemies. I say amen to that. Amen. The soldiers who carried these shields were on the front line in battle. When you're on the front line, you need protection. They were something like four feet in length and two and a half feet in width. Amen. They looked more like a large door that covered all the other armor. This shield was the protection of the heavy infantry. Soldiers could stand behind the shield and they were well protected. The shield is very, very important. Jesus protects his own with the shield of faith. If you would just look with me at Job chapter 1 and verse number 10, the Bible says, Hast not thou made an hedge about him, and about his house, and about all that he has on the other side? Y'all gonna pray with me? Thou hast blessed the work of his hand, and his substance is increased in the land. Does your Bible say that? Somebody say increase. Eh? The Bible says, taking the shield of faith, we live by faith every day and don't know it. Yes, we do. We cross bridges with the faith that they will support us. We eat food at restaurants trusting that it's 
not force Get on airplanes yeah. and never ask to see the pilot. Yeah. <laughs> we board trains and ships and buses, and we ask folks for ride homes in automobiles, and we never ask to see their license. Matter of fact, we go to the doctor's office and take off all our clothes and put on a skimpy gown and wait in the cold.
is a complete trust in God. I got to say it one more time. A complete trust in God. Would y'all permit me to say it one more time? A complete trust in God. Tell one neighbor a complete trust in God. Stay with me this morning. Will you tell another neighbor a complete trust in God? So you know what I'm talking about this morning. When the attack is on, when you are on the front line, so to speak, you have to completely trust in God. Can I back it up this morning? Go to Proverbs chapter 3. Look at verses 5 and 6. The Bible says, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. And lean not can y'all hear me? Unto thy own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct the path. Pass. Put an S on. The military strategy in this kind of faith is when you are attacked. Can y'all hear me? You immediately take your eyes off of yourself and put them on God. Because if you keep your mind on yourself, you will focus on your circumstances. I'll give you somebody. You will focus on your situation. You will focus on your temptation. But if you focus on God, you will see what God is doing in your situation. Your situation will cause your graduation. Even I 
our door of security. Yes. Can I back it up? Yes. First, he's our door of salvation. Yes. John chapter 10 and verse 9. The Bible says, I am the door by me. If any man enter in, he shall be saved. Talk to me, somebody. And so go in and out and find pastor. Jesus is my salvation. No man can come to the Father. He said, but by me, we have a neighbor. Jesus is my salvation. But the same Jesus is my security. 